Today on The Daily Dose, the passing of FDR. Serving an unprecedented four terms in office, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt had guided the American nation through the darkest days of the Great Depression, as well as through the majority of World War II. It is my resolve and yours to build up our armed defenses. On April 12, 1945, in what would become the final days of the war, FDR passed away at his retreat in Warm Springs, Georgia, leaving Vice President Harry S. Truman in charge of a nation deep in conflict. Roosevelt sat in his living room with his two cousins and Lucy Mercer, the later having resumed an extramarital affair with the president. While artist Elizabeth Shalmatov painted his portrait, at 1 p.m., the president suddenly complained of a terrific pain in the back of his head, collapsing moments later into an unconscious heap, the victim of a massive cerebral aneurysm. Back at the White House, after Eleanor Roosevelt was given the news, she met with Vice President Truman, who had not yet been told. A calm and collected Eleanor said, Harry, the president is dead, to which he replied, Is there anything I can do for you? Eleanor replied, Harry, is there anything we can do for you? For you are the one in trouble now. Overseas, American servicemen and women were made numb by the news, for the majority of the young fighters had known no other president for the entirety of their lives. As FDR's funeral train rolled across the southern countryside, people thronged for a last farewell to their wartime president. In Washington, D.C., FDR's mortal remains were paraded in honor to the Capitol where he was to lay in state. After the formal national ceremonies were over, he was buried in his hometown of Hyde Park, New York. Following the only four-term presidency in American history, Congress passed the 22nd Amendment, which limited a sitting president to no more than two terms. The amendment was passed on February 27, 1951. And there you have it, the passing of FDR, today on The Daily Dose.